welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be doing a palette bingo game with my friend Dee Dee. this is a collaboration video we're going to be using the your golden palette from ColourPop, but she actually reached out to me and asked if i wanted to do this collab and i was really excited because I'm, I'm trying to get back into filming again it's been a minute this video is a collab video with Dee Dee's beauty and more I'll link all her stuff down below if you want to go check her out. I highly recommend that you do. Everything that I use in this video as far as products will be linked down below as well if I can find it. I had a Barbie shirt on in my last video and the Etsy seller no longer makes it. So I'll just see what I can find. But anyway, thank you so much to Didi for bringing this idea to me. And I'm so excited to be doing this collab video with you. And I can't wait to see what you come up with and what numbers the generator picks for you. I'm really excited. So anyway, without further ado, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to be playing Palette Bingo, which I would have said at the beginning of the video. But it's basically where you take the number of shades in the palette and you put them in a random number generator. And we're going to be doing five shades today. So we're going to draw or the, the generator is going to pick five random numbers for us, one through 30 and we gotta come up with a look using those five shades so we're gonna be playing with the your golden palette i have not touched this since i think i got it in 2021 and that was the last time like the first or second and last time i touched it but it's beautiful but i have my little notepad my handy dandy notepad and um my pen some oh here right here and we're gonna go ahead and generate some numbers dd showed me one on google and that's what I'm going to be doing. The minimum is 1 and the maximum is 30. So we're going to go ahead and generate. So I got 18. 13. 10. I already got 13 so I'm going to pick another one. 15 and 16 okay so we have 18 13 10 15 and 16 number 18 is private beach right here 13 is weekend which is this pretty bronzy shimmer shade right here remote is number 10 and it's like this peachy coral more of a coral it's right here 15 is a lounger and it's this nude another like bronzy brown and then 16 is bay shore and that's that's this gold this gold shade right here so definitely a lot of brown neutral tones i think i can work with that but yeah we'll go ahead and get started so I guess I'll go in with lounger first. No, I, I take that back. I'll go in with remote, that coral shade. I don't think we have to use these in any specific order. So I think we can just play with them at random um, and just see what we come up with. So Dee Dee and I have been friends on YouTube, I believe since 2021. It was the end of 2020 or sometime in 2021 she reached out. It's been a few years, but she reached out to me and I'm so glad she did. She's been such a good friend. I'm so grateful to still know her and call her a friend. And this video was actually her idea. And I'm really excited she asked me. I really want to get back into filming again. I just have to find the time now. Uh, I just had another baby in June and just it's been a lot i have two under two right now my son turns two this month but it's not really too hard now it's just just finding the time because their naps aren't always aligned okay, that's on next i'm gonna go in with lounger so the lighter bronzy color and i'm just gonna just mix the two i guess they're kind of kind of got a similar undertone I'm so excited for fall. We just moved out of our family's house in early June. Literally like the second week of June we were moved into here. And yeah, we've been living here ever since. I'm so happy. I don't know, maybe I'll do a video. Like a get ready with me catch up type of thing. 
we're so happy to be here now and out of that house and just into our own space i think that was the biggest issue while living there was just it wasn't our space there is some fallout so i'm glad i'm doing my eyes first the next three shades are all on the same row pretty much so that's easy so private beach was that dark brown i'm gonna take i'm using the same brush and just gonna pack that on the outer corner and bring it in a little bit it's just deepening it up a little bit it's nothing crazy it's not as dark as i thought it was gonna go on i've been binge watching the crap out of some shows lately i just finished my jane the virgin show the other day well about two weeks ago i finally finished that for the second time um then i finished you that was really good i think they did renew for a fifth and final season i read somewhere so um which the way it ended i feel like it could go either way it could have ended where it ended or i guess they could continue but it was really good i thought the first season at first was my favorite and then i watched the second and the third and I thought that was my favorite, but I think this fourth one was my favorite. Like, that's how good it is. And then we started The Watcher, and that only had seven episodes or whatever. Finished that. Um, I read somewhere that they had already renewed for season two, like a month after the show dropped. So I'm kind of excited to see what happens from there. It's based on a true story, it said. And then I just started watching Dead to Me and i'm almost done with season three i think i'm on episode six of season three and there's 10 episodes per season and this is the last season so i'm about done with this show so any suggestions from netflix paramount plus hulu like wherever your favorite shows are let me know down below i guess it's as good as it's gonna get i'm just gonna leave it like that i guess and the next shade i'm gonna go in with I think I'm going to go in with Weekend, which was more of that brown, tan, bronzy shade. And then I'll use Bayshore Last, which is that gold shade. I actually use my finger. It just applies way better. I feel like this look was pretty easy. <laughs> um, I'm not upset with it so far, but I was kind of hoping for like just more random colors or shades but i guess there's only so much you can do and the generator wasn't really giving me many variety of numbers it was kind of on the same it was like 1 through 20 basically i'm gonna take my blending brush again and go back in with private beach um i'll link this palette below if they still have it i'm not sure but anything that i'm able to even including everything i use on my face I will link down below at your convenience if you're interested in this mama necklace i'll link that below i got off amazon i'm gonna use my finger again and go into bayshore and i'm gonna put that right here and blend it into the sh the shade weekend that we just used and then go in with that dark brown shade again private beach yeah I'm going to go back in with Private Beach and just mix it in together one more time. And then I'm going to go in with Remote, which was that corally color, and go back over the top of this. I'm so excited for fall, you guys. You have no idea. I finally get to decorate my own house. I just did a fall haul for the most part. It was more clothes and decor, but I'll leave that in the cards if you want to check it out and now i'm going back in with lounger and just blending it all together again so i think i'm going to be taking this brown eyeliner that i just got the other day it was in my haul from ross i got this at ulta though but um it's the micro stay micro easy precision liquid liner in the shade what the fudge by revlon I will say this pregnancy like really messed with my lashes so i had chunks fall out on the outer corner of my right eye so they fell out here and then on the inner corner of my left eye i had some fall out and they haven't grown back and because i'm breastfeeding right now i 
read that you're not supposed to use canola oil so yeah i'm just kind of stuck with these ugly eyelashes right now which i wore lashes anyway but it was just you know nice to just have like lazy days where i could throw on a little bit of mascara but now the mascara makes it look worse so i have to wear lashes or i feel like i have to wear lashes whenever i leave or go anywhere if i'm wearing makeup because you could visibly see the chunks missing when i wear mascara and my hair towards the middle and end and up until now my hair actually was not falling out um you know how you have like fallout from your hair like every day your hair to some degree falls out some worse than others yeah my hair stopped doing that and like i could run the brush over and over and over through my hair and i might have like one strand of hair in that brush but the other day i was in the shower and i was washing my hair and just all of a sudden my hair just it was like probably about this much of clogged hair in the drain i don't know where that came from but I was really enjoying my hair not doing that and it came back so so I'm going to be going in with the Mean Girls lashes got these at Walmart two years ago I think I think I'm going to go in with Katie hair and it's these top ones right here I will say what I like about this palette bingo is it definitely gives you the opportunity to get colors you may not be comfortable or willing to work with on most days I mean I got shades that I go towards anyway, but it makes you a little bit more creative in that sense. I do like that. Okay, so I have my lashes on. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Skin Ink Supplement Bar, a serum glow filter. My camera's about to die. I'm going to use this as a primer. I got this in a past, I think it was a BoxyCharm. I saw that they merged with Ipsy or something like that. I at one time had both, but... It was just kind of a waste of money and then I had all three boxy charms and I just wasn't loving what I was getting and again it was just kind of a waste of money sometimes I want to pick it back up but I just can't get myself to because they they gave out more skincare than what I wanted I opted for more makeup less skincare I think more hair products and things like that but I was just getting like one to two well, one doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up over time. But even two skincare products sometimes, and I just wasn't happy with that. I mean, for the base box for $25 a month, it might be a little bit more now, but um, for five full-size products for about $25, $30 a month, I don't think that's that bad, especially if you're starting out. But I don't know, like for somebody, I guess, who I kind of know what I like now, I, I do like trying new products and I did like having it for that reason but when you start to get some of the same things over and over again or like skincare products that you just really don't want it just it's not really worth the money anymore like I would much rather spend like I would much rather spend a hundred dollars on five products that I love and know I'm going to use than spend thirty dollars and only use maybe one of the products if I like it you know what I mean and this was the L'Oreal True Match Nude um, Hyaluronic Tinted Serum in the shade 2 to 3 Light. This is probably like my favorite and go-to foundation. It's lightweight, but it's like kind of buildable. Sometimes it doesn't cover everything. And I'll have to go back in with like some concealer. But for the most part, it sets nicely on my skin. It almost looks like a filter. Like I don't even know how to explain it. It looks almost like a filter. It doesn't look cakey and it's just breathable. Yeah, this foundation is super lightweight. It lasts pretty much all day. Like I said, it's pretty much buildable. It's not as full coverage, but I mean, it's whatever. But yeah, since being off the Accutane, my oil, my oil kind of came back. It's not as bad as it used to be. This, this foundation though is the best I found for my oily skin. And again, it just, it looks flawless with the right type of primer. It'll last pretty much all day, or it has for me. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade 12S Fair. I like my under eyes to be super bright, so yes, it is a little too light for me, but I just like really bright under eyes, so and just highlighted spots 
and I can always go back in and touch it up with foundation if I think it's too light. What kind of shows are you guys watching? I mentioned earlier that I've just been really into this binge watching like mood lately. Um, I really like true crime shows like or mystery thriller shows like The Watcher. I like comedy, romance. I'm not big on gore or horror stuff like that. Now I'm going to set it with this Viseart um, setting powder. It's just I think I got this in a long time ago. Boxy charm. So next I'm going to go in with the Laura Contour Pro Palette. And yeah, it just looks like this. I'm going to go in with the medium and the light contour. So these two. I'm going to go for some coffee right now. A hot cup of coffee. Because it's so late. And it doesn't, like, caffeine usually doesn't keep me up. Honestly, I'm a grown up. I can go get some if I want some, but. I'm going to go up under my eyes with this beige highlight. No, wait, yeah. This beige highlight right here. I'm really excited to see what Dee Dee comes up with and what her shades are. Um, we did not discuss anything like I, I think I'm filming before her technically for blush I'm going to use the elf putty blush in Bahamas I haven't tried this yet I did swatch it at one point I got this for Christmas my one of my sisters gave it to me I'm so excited and it's this pretty orangey shade so I feel like it's going to look really good with this look I've heard so many good things and oh it's beautiful I've heard good things about this putty blush. Elf has come a long way. I remember it used to be, and it's still pretty affordable, but I remember it used to be like super affordable. Like everything was so cheap. I mean, they didn't at the beginning have too much to choose from. It was just like your basic essentials from what I remember. But now it's like, it's expanded. And I will say some of their stuff, I'm just like, man, I don't really want to pay that. But it, I feel like the quality has gotten so much better. And I do believe you get what you pay for and just this is a brand that I feel like you're definitely getting your money's worth when you, for the most part with, you know, whatever you buy from them. Especially for it to be a drugstore product. Okay, so next, I'm pretty much almost done. I have to do the mascara on my lower lashes and some eyeshadow down there too. I'm going to take this skinny brush. I think it's a shader brush. But I'm going to go in with the remote coral shade and then lounger that lighter bronzy shade. And I'm just going to go up under the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that mascara. I don't think I told you what I was using earlier, but it's a Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. Got this in a uh, past Boxy or Ipsy. For whatever reason, I'm not that good at mascara. And I always get it on my either my lids or my underneath my lower lash line for highlight i'm going to be going with the smashbox and becca champagne pop and i'm just using another brush i think i did get this one from an ipsy a long time ago i have to wash my brushes soon too it's been a long time it's kind of gross and then I'm going to take this smaller, just like a pencil brush, and I'm going to hit the tip of my nose. And then a little line down the center. And then on the brow bone. And then also take a little bit of Weekend, which is that more bronzy brown shimmer shade. I'm going to throw that on the inner corner as well. So for lip liner, I'm going to be using the Steve Laurent Lip Liner in Vogue. It's just like this pretty mauve pink. Okay, and then for the liquid lip, I'm going to be going in with the N Nabla Liquid Lipstick in Eve. Just this pretty nudie mauve pink. 
Alrighty, you guys. I think this is it. This is a complete and final look. And I'm not mad about how it came out. The eyeliner. I know this wasn't really like part of the the palette bingo, but it's okay. It's not as dark as I would have liked, but my fault. Um, I should have paid more attention. It is pretty, but I just I feel like you hardly see it except the wing part. But other than that, I do like the way this look came out. I don't know if I would have in general, like into my everyday, like if I wanted to get a little bit glam, if I'd use this many shadows to create this look. But I definitely do something similar to it. And I don't know, I just feel like the browns and the bronzy tones and stuff, the warm neutral tones just suit me way better than colored in general. I'm really happy with the way this look turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We just hit 300 subscribers. And thank you to those who have stayed subscribed. I really, really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me. And thank you to Dee Dee for doing this collab with me. Thank you for even presenting the idea. I'm so happy to be filming again and I'm so grateful to have her as a friend. So I will leave all her information, channel and everything down below if you wanna go check her out. Highly recommend that you do and subscribe to her channel. She is back doing videos again. She posts really good content, pretty similar to mine, um, but more often. So I highly recommend that you go check her out. Tell her Caitlin sent you and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.